yo what up all right um so uh dad i love you happy father's day say that yes uh pops i love you happy father's day as well to all the fathers out there watching this yeah. right now and everywhere i love you as well happy father's day yes what we got uh we got another bill burr got another bill burr okay my man bb yes yes what we got uh, and this this is Bill Burr destroys PC culture. Okay, okay. BB is going to destroy the PC. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, th th that's the politically correct for who does not know. All right. Uh, let's go, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Now I'm excited to be here. I am. It's very. Uh, Okay. Exciting to be doing stand-up outside of my own country. Yeah, no, not because of you. <laughs> That's how it's become. Fucking U.S., everything's so goddamn heavy. Fucking joke you tell. Well, what did you mean about that? I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? I feel fucking triggered. Gotta fucking uh, apologize to everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know that, you know Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic. And people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able bodied person playing a quadriplegic? <laughs> it's like, it's because it's called acting. You dumb fuck. <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. That's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. So tell us, what, what did you do to prepare for the role? Well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. Right, what is up next for you? Oh, uh, well, they're gonna do a reboot of Top Gun. Uh, I'm gonna fly it with my pub. And uh, the pilot's gonna be transgendered. So everybody will be happy. She won't die. Her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy. There'll be a gender neutral bathroom on the plane. <laughs> How fucking dumb is that? That's literally like watching a movie. Why didn't you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he shot? I saw him in another movie. I mean, what the fuck is going on? No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> yeah. That's all I do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Start to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck <laughs> What you fucking whining? Look, here's a little caveat here. So you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, if you fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. No, one of my fantasies honey -boo -boo is lifestyle. I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of just to watch them lose their minds. You know, just drive by real slow, and be like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> 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 
just to look in their rearview mirror, watching them flipping out in the road, <laughs> spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a very, uh, uh, I don't know, times are changing, I guess. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he made a lot of sense. Uh, he's completely, he's <laughs> absolutely 100% right. <laughs> Bill Burr is 100% right. People get too, you know what I'm saying? It's oh, like, man. first of all, yeah. I've seen that movie that Brian Cranston was in. Yeah. He did play a paraplegic. <laughs> But it's like, <laughs> what do you expect? You, you what you expected in the cast the actual paraplegic? I don't even know there was that much uproar about that movie. I think it would make it a documentary if there was a actual. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll follow this dude around. <laughs> nah, <laughs> but but yeah, I, I definitely understand. You know, and uh, and definitely in comedy, you know, people shouldn't try to be PC. It just, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mix. You know what I mean? People are trying I, yeah. to make you laugh with the silliness. I can't I mean? think of one politically correct comic that I like. <laughs> one funny politically correct comic. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Bill boring. Bill Maher had a show called Politically Correct a long time ago, but I don't think he was trying to be politically <laughs> no, correct. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that it doesn't go, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mix. It doesn't mix. Nah, man. It doesn't mix. You know, I never try to be too politically correct, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's just the people are reaching, reaching and trying to find something to make it a, to make it an issue, you know what I'm saying? And that's Exactly. And, and those are the things that, that, that we're trying to, we need to eliminate, you know what I'm saying? People just trying to, to take their own moods or their own feelings and, and, and just forcing them on somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just... Do do what you're doing. Feel what you you know. Just you know what I'm saying. On your own, by yourself. Don't bother anybody else. Just keep to yourself. You know. Yeah, I think it's like call. I think it's like the the cancel culture. I think they'll say like people uh, want to cancel. Yeah. Like um, okay, okay. The canceling culture. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with that. I, I don't. You know what I mean? I, I definitely understand why you cancel somebody out, but I, I you know, I'm not. I'm not with canceling. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think it's my part. Like, what, what, what's my part to cancel? What do I gain from canceling somebody out? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yeah, I choose not to listen to somebody. I choose not to, you know what I'm saying? You know, read about somebody. I choose not to, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Just just choose not to. I mean, so canceling is just like, it's like you're, you're putting intent. You're putting, you're, you're trying to make it mean something when it's just you deciding not to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Why, 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 why? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I can think of uh I can think of actually like a couple other actors that have played paraplegic, like uh Daniel Day Lewis, okay. My Left Foot. Oh. Like he won an Oscar for that shit. Ain't nobody said nothing about Daniel Day Lewis. Okay. okay. <laughs> and okay. he used his foot to draw and eat and all kind of shit. Or actually it was his left foot, because okay. that was the name of the movie. But yeah. yeah. Who else? Who else was a paraplegic, man? Like he's right. What the hell? Yeah. What they expect? Yeah. Now that movie with uh, Charlotte Bluff in it, and had the uh, had the uh, the guy with Down syndrome in there, he was he really had Down syndrome. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he can carry a whole movie. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Play the role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like Brian Cranston was like a main. Yeah. 